I know that it's easy to just tell yourself that everything's going to be all right and that things will pass over, but do you really feel that deep inside? I know sometimes for me, it takes more for me to feel relief and for me to overcome pain. And yes, I can ask others for advice and yes, I can turn to God and pray, but how do I know deep down that he loves me and that he cares about me? Yes, you can say that he died for us and you know he he puts all these things in our life and we should be grateful for them which is true but the main way to feel better deep inside and to release all that negative energy out of you is to read your bible it's been times where it's been hard for me to stay consistent in my bible where i feel like i'm just reading you know and people have told me you know read with meaning meditate on your word and pray before and after you read your bible but they didn't always work. Here are a couple of scriptures that'll help you with your relationship with God and help you know that God is with you and that all the pain will go away and God is bigger than what you're going through. As we all know, the book of Psalms is an amazing book. I love Psalms so much and it keeps me just loving God more. So here's the first scripture I wanna start with. The first scripture is Psalm 62 verse eight. Trust in him at all times, you people. Pour out your hearts before him. God is our refuge. You should definitely trust God. Like, from personal experience, it's been times where I feel like he's not listening or I feel like he's not there or I feel like I need someone here with me just to feel okay. That's not true. That feeling of loneliness or that no one is listening to you is God. I know it might sound a little crazy, but that's God working. God wants you to keep your faith. All of these obstacles that we have in our life when we feel like no one is listening and we feel like no one is here and we feel like it'll never get better, that is God testing you to make sure that you're staying in your faith and you keep that faith within you. That is God. When you feel like there's no way out, you feel like everything is just terrible, you feel like you hate everybody, you hate everything, you don't want to be here anymore, that's God testing your faith. Every single thing that we go through that is an obstacle or that's the devil or that's evil, that is God. He wants you to keep your faith. For example, at the very beginning of my YouTube journey, I felt like, I felt like, uh, I don't know, this is very hard. Everybody else is getting all these views. Everyone else is, you know, getting people engaged in their content. Everyone loves their content. Everybody's watching all their videos. Da, 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 da. Kept praying. I'm like, God, please help me. God, can you just please just grow my channel, grow my engagement? I was really just comparing myself to other people. My channel was growing, you know, day by day, but it wasn't growing fast enough for me. I still kept praying. I still kept pushing forward, but I just kept feeling like it was not getting better. The moment I stopped worrying about it, the very moment I stopped worrying about it, my channel started to grow. It's just simple things like that. It's, it's very simple. It could be relationships with people. You're like, oh, I feel like I'm not having any friends. You know, oh, I want friends. I want to be like this. I want to be like this. And you keep praying. And you keep begging God for it. And the minute you start worrying about it, you get it. It's, it's kind of crazy. It's kind of crazy. I don't even know how to explain it. But if you know, you know. Another thing could be I used to pray for specific types of people in my life. I used to pray, I'm like, God, I'm, I promise you when I get these people, I'm going to be right. When I get these people, I'm going to be happier. The people that I asked for came, but it was not what I wanted. You get what you ask for, be careful what you ask for, which is true, but it relates back to trusting in God. God knows what's best for you. God knows what you need. Following down the book of Psalms, this is Psalms 63, and I'm going to be reading verse 1 through 11. So let's go ahead and get into it. God, you are my God. I eagerly seek you. I thirst for you. My body faints for you. In the land that is dry, I desolate without water. So I gain on your secretary to, to see your strength and your glory. My lips will glorify you because your faithful love is better than life. So I will bless you as long as I live. At your name, I will lift my hands. You satisfy me as rich with food. My mouth will praise you with joyful lips. You need to keep your faith no matter what. I know I just said this previously, but this is so important. This is like so important. Like 
When you start to see that God is making a way, your relationship becomes stronger with him. God is the biggest. Faith is your belief that God is not going to leave you out to rot. Anything that's hurting you, any people that's hurting you, anything that you don't like in your life, anything that you disagree with, any obstacle that you're in, that obstacle that's trying to destroy you, is going to go into the depths of the earth. Simple. So why worry about it? If you know that God will destroy this thing that's taken over your life, if you know he will conquer it, why worry about it? You know what I'm saying? Why even let it mess up your day? Why even let it get into your head? And I know it's easier said than done. I've been there. I'm still going through it right now. Don't stress about things you can't control. And you know, we don't want to blame it all on the devil or, oh, that's just evil taking over. That's just an evil spirit. That's just the devil. We don't want to look at it from that standpoint. We don't want to give the devil any credit for anything that happens in our life. We want to give everything to God. God knew that was going to happen to us. God got us through that. You see what I'm saying? Hope that makes sense. As you guys know, I make content like this on my TikTok all the time. So I thought I would go ahead and bring it over to YouTube to let you guys know that God loves y'all and keep your faith. Good luck. Peace out.